Hello class! Welcome to today's math lesson. Today we are going to be looking at telling time. Now I know that you're already very good at telling time to the hour. For instance, what time is it? That's right, it's two o'clock. You know that it is two o'clock because you know that the minute hand is pointing to the twelve and the hour hand is pointing to two. What time is it now? I know that you know it is 3 o'clock because the minute hand is pointing to the 12 and the hour hand is pointing to the 3. We have done a lot of practice telling time to the hour, but it's not always exactly o'clock. So we've also practiced telling time to the half hour. Here, our hour hand is between the three and the four. So it is half past three, or three thirty. Hmm, what time is it now? It's four o'clock. In order to make it four thirty, we go halfway around the clock, half past four. But what makes pointing to the six four thirty? Well, we are going to practice counting by five because each number also represents five minutes when the minute hand passes it. Count by five with me. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. It is now four-thirty or half past four. We're going to take a look at this circle that I have written on the board. I have found the center and we are going to make a clock together. If you have a piece of paper or a board at home, I would like for you to make a clock as well. Well, right up here at the top, do you remember what number goes there? It is the number 12 is at the top. And what about the number right on the bottom? Yell it out. It is half of 12. It is 6. I like to start off making my clocks with those two numbers, the top and the bottom, so that I put all of my numbers in the right spot and that they're not too squishy together. Well, now we have a number that is over here and one that is on this side as well. Now, on the left-hand side of the clock, it is the number nine, and on the right-hand side of the clock, do you know the number? Did you say three? It's a three. Well, we're going to fit in the rest of the numbers. What numbers go between 12 and three? We have a one and a two. I spread mine out as evenly as I could. I did not want them to be too smushed together, so I didn't do them this way, one, two. That's just too smushed. I need to spread them all out evenly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. I would like for you to draw all of the numbers around your clock as well. Now that you have all the numbers written on your clock, I would like for you to start here, and we're going to count by five. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty. Do you remember how many minutes are in an hour? You're right. There are sixty minutes. Hmm. What number did we just get to when we counted by five? We got to sixty. When the minute hand goes around the clock, we can tell that five minutes has passed as it passes each number. Let's count by five again, but this time, why don't we sing the skip counting by five song? Are you ready? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five. 60. Well done. 
Well, I am going to make our clock tell a time. What time does the clock say? I hope you said three o'clock. Our minute hand is pointing to the 12, and our hour hand is pointing to the three. So our clock is saying three o'clock. Do you remember when we count around the minutes? We count by five. So the one is like five minutes, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, or half of the clock. If you have drawn a little clock on your piece of paper, I would like for you to start going around and putting the minutes on. We have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and 60. That is how many minutes are in an hour. So I have a question for you. Let's say I change the minute hand and it's not going to point up to the 12. What if instead it points to the 1? Now it is not saying 3 o'clock. Do you know what time it is? It's no longer 3 o'clock. It is 3 o'clock and how many minutes? <gasps> Five minutes. Well done. This is 3.05 or five minutes after three. Wow, what if I erase this again and I put the minute hand pointing to the two? Do you know how many minutes have passed? Is it two minutes? No. Do you remember each number is skip counting by five for the minutes? five, ten minutes. So instead of five minutes after three, it is ten minutes after three. Well done. I'm going to change our minute hand again and I am going to point the minute hand all the way down here to the five. How many minutes past three is it now? Count with me. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, 25 minutes. So instead of being 10 minutes after 3, it is 25 minutes after 3. That is so close to 3.30 or half past 3. Well, if I move it, this minute hand to 3.30, I'm going to have to move my hour hand a little bit, won't I? So that it is halfway between the 3 and the 4. Well, let's count our minutes. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I can't have 325 there anymore. I'm going to switch that to 3, 30. Oh, class, I would like for you to practice today drawing a clock and experiment writing some different times. Keep changing the minute hand five minutes each time. Could you practice writing out the time as well? I know that you can. Before we go, let's practice. Skip counting by five one more time. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. I got a little mixed up. I know that with some practice, though, you won't get mixed up. Have a wonderful day, class. Bye-bye.